What are they up to? I need this. I need this. I need this. <clears throat> We're cutting and crafting today. <laughs> Of course you say it right this time. <laughs> We're glad that you could be here with us today. We are moving on to part three of our wedding dress remake today. If you have not seen part one or part two, you can check those out here or down in the description and we'll pin them in the comments as well. Part one is us taking a full wedding dress down two pieces of fabric and part two is us dreaming up our designs for these pillows. So we're starting today with our 14 inch round pillow. And I will show you, it is 14 inches. But the package also told me it was 14 inches. <laughs> so to cut out the fabric and make this as simple to make a circle as possible, we have a ruler with a hole in it. We need, counted back seven and a half inches and which is four and a half here. Right here. Yes. And mom will make a circle with okay. the ruler. All right. So we're just gonna draw a couple little spots so that we know about where to cut all the way around in a circle. And this is a fabric safe pen, so it will wash out. We're doing this on the back side of the fabric as well. And we went seven and a half so that the whole, the full range of the diameter would be 15 inches because you want a little extra fabric left over. Yeah, so you've got room for your seam. You can see the little dots and we'll be able to use the shears to go from one dot to another. Oh, it's mine. <laughs> I want this we need to lay it down. <laughs> All right, fine. Mommy knows best. <laughs> okay. So the back side of this pillow is going to be white. This is part of the skirt from the dress. We are going to do the same technique on the white as we did for the pink. If you have not already, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you are ready for each and every new craft project we work on and we greatly appreciate it. There, and that will be for the back of the pillow. Smile at the camera this time. <laughs> we done it the hard way. We drew the whole circle on here and we could have done it with just half a circle, but uh, this is actually the first time I've ever done this. <laughs> So done what? Made a pillow or made a made a pillowcase? Or made, made a, a pillowcase like this? A circle pillowcase. Yeah. Or cut up nice material like this. <laughs> like a wedding dress? Yes. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna start cutting. Yeah. Well, I'll cut it in a circle, but I gotta turn it over so I can see what I'm doing. You got a small piece. I got a big piece. Okay. Here's my dots. Okay, here we go. I can't make myself do it. Yes, you can. No pressure. I'm gonna go like this. Uh, I gotta cut this way. Here we go. We're gonna cut into this dot. Keeps moving away from me. Okay. Well, circles will do that. Yes, they will. Why'd you leave such a distance here between these two dots? This I wasn't is, in charge of the ruler on that This is not thing. gonna be perfect. <laughs> it's all right, it'll get sewn over. That's right. the part that folds under. It'll all go inside. How you doing? All right, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. I think just a mini panic attack cutting through. When we dress. do this again, we will fold the material, maybe quarter it even, and um, draw the dots Well, you can on. clearly tell we're not math geniuses. 
<laughs> Who's getting there first? It's not a race. But it was me. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> yeah, that don't look too bad. Okay, so this is gonna be like this. And the pillow will go in here. And then this will go over. And then this will lay over it like that. One pillow is going to be pink and white, and the second is going to be white on white. So we have folded our dress material in half. We're going to pin our previous pink circle to the two layers of the dress. And then if all works out, we're gonna have two circles when we're done cutting. <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> if everything works out. In I theory. Said, <laughs> I think it would have been easier to use uh, that cake thing to make the circle It wasn't with. the right, right size. Well, I know that. Here, have some pins. Hold it, lay it down again, and let's make sure it's flat. Because there's a bump in here. There we go. Okay. Next time, let's take the tablecloth off. It's easier to do without that on there. Okay, now let's make sure. <laughs> Wait a minute. Got it. <laughs> Only once. Nope, twice. <laughs> okay. There we go. I'm free. <laughs> okay. That looks pretty good. All right. You want me to cut it? You're welcome to. All right. You want to hand me the lid so these don't scatter everywhere? Yep. Thank you. And done. And this will make another round pillow um, to go with that we talked about. Yep. The second sleeve. Yep. Now that we have the cutouts for the circles using and the round pillows using the sleeves of the dress, we are moving on to the train. We're going to use the center piece for a special project and we will definitely bring you more on that later. Okay, we're getting ready to mark this so that we can cut this centerpiece out for our special project. Um, and all we're gonna do is go down here between, between here like we did on the other side and we'll cut that out and then that'll all be out of our way so that uh, we can cut the edges, the, edges, the other side sections. Okay, where was I? Right Are we doing okay. good here? Pretty close, yeah. Got to turn just a little bit. There you go. You're gonna come a little bit. Does that look good? Yep. Okay. There we go. So we can cut this out now and put it aside. We'll come back to it later. 
So we're gonna go ahead and start cutting where we made our marks. Hey, what pen were you using to mark the train? That is a fabric safe pen. Um, I got it through a kit. You can find them at most craft stores. Um, but I got it through a kit on Amazon and we can definitely provide the link for that in the description. Okay. Very good. Oh my god! <laughs> well, now that the middle has been freed, the earthquake just came upon us. We can see what we have left to work with for the giant square pillow. You might want to stand up. I can't see from down there, can you? Are you implying I'm short along with you? <laughs> All right. I don't know if we want to put that right in the middle of a flat side or at the corner. And then I think we'll have to bring in some of the white satin mm -hmm. and stuff. And, and put underneath here. And if we want, if we like this uh, lace. Because we're gonna do one on each side, correct? Correct. Could we do one side white satin and one side the pink satin? We could. We have all the pieces cut out and pinned together. So now we are going to sew the two pieces together and make the pillowcase. We've got it all ready to put together. So this is um, the white side and this is the pink side and we're gonna pin it right sides together. Sometimes you just have to realign everything and if it if it's hangs over a little bit, that's not gonna be a problem. Turn and do the other side. And now we're going to start sewing the pillowcase. wedding dress fabric that will be our pillowcase. We put a lot of pins on the outer edge of our wedding dress fabric due to the slipperiness, slipperiness of, of the fabric. And uh, extra pins will hold that together while you try to sew it. Coming oh. down to our final corner here. And She'll then, reverse it yeah. to lock it in place. There we go. Okay, we've got this all sewed together. I still I'm got three edges of it. Yeah, I've still got pins in here because there's some uh, hand tacking that I have to do yet. So that that is still there like that. But this is what it's going to look like. Get the points out here up here and we left this this open right here so that we can put the pillow inside of it it's going to be like this and then on the other side and then we'll put the pillow in it so you can see what it's going to look like We left the fourth side of the pillowcase open, obviously, to shove the pillow in through there. 
So the final step would be folding the seams over and hand stitching them and we will get to that later and get back to you shortly. See you in the craft aisle.